Solve and graph the solution set. In this case, we're given an absolute value inequality. We'll begin by isolating the absolute value. To do that, we add two to both sides. And that'll leave us with three times the absolute value of 6x plus 5 is greater than 15. Now, dividing both sides by 3, we have the absolute value of 6x plus 5 is greater than 5. This leaves us with an absolute value greater than some number. And so we can write 6x plus 5 has to be less than negative 5 or 6x plus 5 can be greater than positive 5. And this gives us two inequalities that we can solve. For the first inequality, we'll subtract 5 on both sides. And that gives us 6x is less than negative 10. Dividing both sides by 6, we'll have x is less than negative 5 thirds. Now the second inequality, here when we subtract 5 on both sides, we'll be left with 6x is greater than 0. Next, dividing both sides by 6, we have x is greater than 0. So the union of these two solution sets will be the solution set to the original inequality. We'll graph these on a number line. And because of the strict inequalities, we'll use an open dot at negative 5 thirds, or negative 1 and 2 thirds. That's right about here. So we'll shade all the numbers less than that. Now here, we have solutions all numbers greater than 0. And so we'll use an open dot and shade all numbers to the right. This is our solution set expressed on a number line. Now using interval notation, we can write from negative infinity to negative 5 thirds union 0 to infinity. This is our solution set to the original inequality.